Oh, hey, what's up? I didn't know I had was always record already recording. Wow. Oh, what's up? It's your girl Cicely Cherie. Welcome to CC World, and I'm back with another video. Video, video. This time, if you can see down below. It's what? Story time again. I haven't did one ooh, in a couple of months, so I thought I would bring another story time back. I know some people have been asking me to do a story time on how did me and my husband meet, met. So, yeah. Get ready. This is the story. This is a story to tell. Um, excuse my hands. Need a fill in. Got rubber bands in my hand because I just got finished doing um, my nephew hair. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to grow like my little boy hair. We're going to get it. But that's why I got rubber bands and need a fill in. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this video. Okay, story time. All right. Where do I begin with this story time? How did me and my husband meet? Oh, you know, well, okay. It's all dealing with my sister. Okay, my sister um, used to hang out with our cousin back home. We were original from. She's like, well, cousin over there in the project. Um, you know, I think it was like in West End project. Project, so um, she was hanging out all the time, whatever, whatever. And I'm trying to remember where did he see me at. I don't know if he saw me with my sister. If y'all, it's been a minute, so if you hear me jumping around in the story time, forgive me. I get that because it's it's been a minute. We've been together for 13 years, so it's kind of like been a minute. So I'm trying to mm, play around with it, trying to figure it out. But um. I can't remember what he saw me at. I don't know if he saw me with my sister in in the car or something, in the truck. I can't remember. But I know he, she was like, um, she was telling me, this guy I like you, whatever. You know me, I'm like, mm mm. So when I seen him, I used to see him all, well, once I saw who he was and whatever, um, I used to see him in Walmart back home where we're from. And she was like, Cicely, there was that boy who like you, whatever. And I said, uh, are you for real? Yeah, I used to be like, yeah, uh, uh, no, I want to see him. I would leave wherever I saw him at. I would leave the building. No matter if I had to go somewhere to pay something about food, groceries, pay a bill, I would leave. So that day I saw him at Walmart. He was with his, his baby mother at that time. But he still liked me, whatever. But I did not like him. So I was just like, oh, they go, um, that boy, I told you to like you, whatever. And, you know, he's right over there. I said, he, ooh, was in Walmart. Walked straight out of Walmart. We had, now get that, we had just walked into Walmart. I said, bye. Went to the truck, sat in there. So I can't remember if I sat in there until he left or my sister just came out and went to another store. I can't even remember. But I know I left Walmart, went out to the truck. I don't remember, couldn't get back out. I don't know. I just remember I left the store because I did not like him. And so my sister worked in this daycare. And the daycare he she worked at, a friend of his child went there. So one day his friend, he wrote his friend to come pick up his friend's son. And he saw my sister there. He was like, oh, man, tell your sister to call me, whatever. Give up my number. And my sister like, she don't like you. No, 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 tell her to call me, whatever. I mean, every time he saw my sister, he was like, tell her to call me. I want to talk to your sister. I'm like, it's E, oh, no. I just feel like, oh, he's dingy looking, and I don't like him, you know. I'm sorry, but I was like, oh, he's dingy. He's dirty, and I don't want to talk to him, you know. She, I mean, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. So, one day, um, what was it? He wondered, I think my daughter at this time now, y'all. He's been liking me for a long time because I'm trying to think when we had our wreck. Oh my God, I'm trying to think, y'all. 
when we had our wreck, I think my daughter was. I can't remember how old my daughter was. Y'all, I met. Oh my goodness. I can't remember. I think she was. She was small. Oh my God. Not six months. Maybe she was like. Oh my God, yeah, I'm like, mind blown, I can't remember how old my daughter was when we had this wreck. Oh my God, so we had a bad wreck um, back home where we were originally from. Like me and my sister, we got hit by a drunk driver and our best friend was in the back seat. And I know we had just, my daughter had to be, we say that she had to be at least a year two years old she had to be between one and three i'm guessing i can't remember oh my god i can't remember that's sad but so let me keep going let me go on but we had our red um and the red happened like down the road from where my husband stayed at well he wasn't my husband at that time but when he stayed in west end in the project whatever back home and um, it was a club, like walking distance from his house. And I think we was leaving. We had just um, dropped my daughter off at home. Cause like I said, my best friend was in the back. I, I remember this, my friend used to, my best friend used to bartend at this Mexican restaurant back home. So we was picking her up from Mex Mexican restaurant. And yeah, me and my sister, my daughter was in the car late night, picking her up from that Mexican restaurant for her job. Um, so when we picked her up from work, we went back and dropped my daughter off at home. I think with my with my dad. And we went back out to hang hang out. So we was passing where he stayed at, and like I say, right down the road from where he stayed is a club. So we coming around the curve, you know, whatever. We stopped because we know the club was ended and it was letting out. We know what time this club ended and it was letting out. So, you know, we just came around the curve with the club and just stopped. Basically, because, you know, we been in the club, the cars in the club coming out. Boom, boom. Like, you know, we're just standing there, whatever. You know, it's been a minute. We're just sitting there. Like I said, it's my sister driving. At that time, my sister was driving my father's Ford Explorer. I'm on the passenger side, best friend in the back. We already took my daughter home. So we sitting there, waiting for the cars. And all of a sudden, this big old SUV. All three of us saw it now. All three of us saw it. But nothing couldn't come out of our mouth. Boom, he hit us kind of like head on, like at the tail light on the driver's side, my sister. So that's kind of like head on, boom. All of us blacked out. All we know was in the neighbor yard right beside the club. It's a house right right beside the club. It seemed like it's connected because it's so close. But we landed right, right. Wait a minute, y'all. What's wrong with my thing? Sorry, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, but we landed right in the in the neighbor yard. All was blacked out, whatever. The airbag burnt my lip, burnt my sister's face. My lip was swole, like how I beat Tina. It was out to here. I'm shocked. My eyes like this because I'm like. Like to say about Ninja Turtle shell shock. I mean, my eyes was huge, whatever. And um, I think one of my cousins got us out the car. No, because I don't remember nothing. I remember my um, left arm. I couldn't move it. Like the fingers, I couldn't move nothing. And we forgot my best friend was in the back seat, whatever. So, like I said, the wreck was real loud. He was drunk. The guy was like past the limit. He was drunk. Not, I mean, past the limit. So, but anyway, to get to the point of this story time. My at that time wasn't my husband, but I'm gonna say my husband because that's who we're talking about. But he came running from where he said because the rake was loud, and like I say, he was right on the road from his house, running down there, like running. Oh, you're all right, you know, like at this time, another time I seen him, I'll be like, Ew, nasty, get away. But I was in pain, and I was like, Oh, that was in my head. I'm like, 
on his suite. He don't even know me, but I know he crushing on me. He got a girl. He, you know, I'm, I had a wreck. I'm, I look swole. I look up, you know, like this. I'm like, yeah, yes, was I all right? I couldn't move, whatever, whatever. So then after that, um, had the wreck, whatever, all that kind of stuff like that. But he saw my sister. He was like, can you get my sister, your sister? I think I'm telling the story right. I'm trying to remember y'all. It's been a long time ago. So he was like, give your sister my number. Tell her to call me. That's it. Tell her, call me and I'll take it from there. What else? And my sister said, please call him. Please. I'm looking like, my sister's like, do it for me. Call him because he keep asking me. He want to talk. He keep, please do it for me. I'm like, okay. I do it. So I call. And why did I do that? I just went. So I call. Whatever. And this whole time, you know, they say don't judge a book by its cover. Well, your girl, like I say, I keep it real on CC World. And your girl did. I judge the book by its cover before reading it. And I was like, well, and I'm thinking, I'm going by, he looking like, oh, he dingy, he dirty. I said it, y'all. But now he's my dingy and dirty baby. But anyway, he's not dirty, y'all. But uh, at that time, I'm like, uh, uh you know. My sister I acted bougie because my sister hung out in the projects, you know, all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with it because my parents grew up in the project. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I didn't. I just, even though I'm the oldest, I didn't. She loved it, you know. She the little hood girl, you know. I'm the little. She said I was bougie. I'm like, I don't know, bougie, but I guess she can say I was bougie at the time, but. You know, whatever. Um, nothing against the project. Born and raised my parents, so nothing. It's just my sister liked hanging over there. I didn't. So whatever. So I talked to him on the phone. I'm like, my face expression, if he saw that, but like I said, we was on the phone, I'm like, I thought you was stupid. Y'all know that's not nice, but I'm just keeping around like I don't know why I thought Cause I guess the way he look and whatever, I'm like, mm, I got time. I got a little girl, so I need somebody who's gonna be responsible. You know, I had a child at that time, so I, was, I need somebody who's about their life, who's gonna be doing something like that. You know, whatever. You're rough around the edges, whatever. So um, I talked. I'm like, whoa, oh, he is smart. Oh wow. Okay, well maybe I can fix him up. You know. Um, get him on my level, you know, not saying I'm better than anybody, not not that, but hey, if, he, if he's going to be liking me and want to get with me and all that, whatever, whatever, so I'm saying, like, okay, we're talking, but I'm like, well, we stop being friends first, we were friends, whatever, and everything, I know everybody looking like, he had a girlfriend, yeah, but by the time I started talking to him and liking him back, um, his baby mama got locked up. So, he gonna get into that, but she did. So by the time we start liking each me, start liking him back and get to and all that right there, relationship wise, his baby mama got locked up. So I believe that what made it open the door. Like, well, um, she is locked up, and she's gonna be locked up for a while, you know, for a minute, which she was. So, um, but anyway, we started talking. I know he started coming to my house, whatever. He started coming to my house for a minute, so that's when I. Introduce him to my daughter, and you know, my daughter at just like me, and she at that time, I want to say she was five because I think that's when we met. She was about five or six. My I said six, my husband said five. So, but like I say, I can't remember. I thought we officially went together when she was six, but he said five. So, but anyway, somewhere around there, y'all, we've been together since then. Um, but my daughter was at first, she was like, mm, you know, doing like me. I don't like him, whatever. But once she got to know him, because she still act like that now. She crazy about him now, trust me. She crazy about him. She may not act like, but this is her personality. This is her, you know what I'm saying? That's, if y'all know my daughter, Jane Marie, that's her. She's so laid back, nonchalant, whatever. But she crazy about him, whatever. He, he definitely crazy about Jaden Marie. But anyway, um, so he's going there and rub my foot, massage my foot and everything. And, you know, let me do this. Let me, you know, whatever. So um, after that, you know, I was like, okay, okay. Are we talking now? Yeah, we talking, whatever. And yeah, he was like, what did he say? Oh, my God. I hate that I'm missing bits and parts. It's aggravating me. 
But anyway, we got together. I said, okay, let me fix him up. You know what I'm saying? You know, he a little hood boy. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, you know, he a little gangster or whatever, but I love him. And um, got him, I don't want to say I got him cleaned up, but because that sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like he was homeless or something. But all it is, I just showed him, how can I put it, my world. You know what I'm saying? I took him out of his little atmosphere, like the little gangster thugged out, you know, hanging on the streets, whatever, all that. You know, I just took him out of his and put him in my life, in my world, CC world, and introduced him to stuff like, you know, different clothes, wise shoes. It ain't like I had to. Like I said, he's not, he wasn't homeless, but just had to get him on my feet, highlight, you know what I'm saying, just show him like, oh, we can do this, this you can have this, you know, whatever, whatever, and I remember, I remember his family's also, oh, Cicely, oh, he looks good, oh, you clean him up good, and I just bust out laughing, so, oh, he look good, ever since he's been with you, girl, he's been looking good, whatever, whatever, he's been looking good, oh, you know, whatever, but um, he chased me for about... My husband chased me about. I might be wrong. <laughs> Y'all probably like, do you know? I do know. I want to say about two to three years. He chased me. And that's and that's real, y'all. I want y'all to know. Uh, that is so serious. If you <laughs> if y'all know my family or, or my sister or my husband, ask them. He probably won't tell the truth. But he chased me for about two or three years. And I, I was like, no, I do not know. No, ill, no, no, ill. And I finally gave in. And I think what why I gave in, once I heard had a conversation with him. We talked on the phone. It was very mature. It was very not what I thought, you know, because I was thinking, uh, he don't have much sense. Uh, he's going to be talking about, hey, boo, hey, shouting. No lie. I judge. Sorry. Yes, I did, but that's my baby, though. That's my baby, and I love him. So, but the conversation was like, like oh, wow. Oh, I like him. He he has sense. Oh, wow, he's very smart. He's very intelligent. Um, wow. Then, you know, we had our little first day. He cooked for me, and that's how I got spoiled, y'all, him cooking for me. A lot of people are like, oh, you don't cook? Um, no. And my sister had me spar too. Even though I'm the oldest, when me and her used to stay together, she did all the cooking. And I had the child. My sister cooked everything when we stayed together. And then when I met my husband, whatever, and we went on our dates and stuff, he started cooking for me. And that was it. I haven't really cooked. Now I'm cooking a little bit more. We've been together, what, 13 years? Now I'm cooking a little bit more because I'm eating better. But he still does all the cooking. He even does the grocery shopping. But that's my man. That's my boo. Not nobody else. Okay. That's my little dirty. I just play. He probably looking at this video like, I'm your dirty. But he's mine, though. And everything. But good conversation. Very smart, bright, and intelligent young black man. I'm going to let y'all know that for real. Off the real. Very. And I learned my lesson. I will never judge nobody. Whether they becoming my friend or whatever. You know, I would never judge nobody by the book again because I made it. Now, if I want to, what if I would let him slip away? Because he's a good man. I want to let y'all know that he is. He loves his kids, his family. He worked hard and he want the best. If he could give us the world, he would give it to us and he would just be fine by himself. If he could give me and his kids the world, he would be happy as long as me and the kids had the world. He'd be fine. He won't have to have nothing because he want to make sure we are happy. So I like that about him. If he could give us a word, hit the lottery, buys everything, it would make him happy just because he's able to do that. He's a man and, he able, and he's able to do that. But I'm glad I read the book and didn't just judge it, the front of the book, but I actually read the book. And now I'm with my husband. The book that I wasn't going to pick up and read, but I'm glad I read it. And from now on, I will read the book first before I start judging. Even though I'm not getting another husband, I'm just saying in life itself, read, read, read. Don't be judging and, you know, 
So I'm glad y'all took the time out to listen to my story time, even though I was scattered everywhere. Yeah, but we got the point of how we met. Like I said, it took him a couple of years before I even gave him a conversation. A couple of years, two to three years. And after that, he told my sister, he told her to call me, and I'll take it from there. He did. He used to say, yeah, you did, and you know. Yeah, the conversation was lit, I'm telling you. Boy, got game, huh? <laughs> it's a good game, but y'all, thank y'all for tuning in for my story time. I will have more videos for y'all. Um, please like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, so anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Give this video two thumbs up, and make sure you give this video 300 likes. And comment down below what other videos you may do. Another story time. Another Q&A. Comment down below. Let your girls know. But please tell your friends subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, hey, that giveaway was legit. Okay? Um, the three people that won, comment down below and let them know. Okay? One of them got their gift card. The other two, they should get theirs Monday. Because I have mailed them off already. So, um... Let's see, Misha S., you should get yours maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, Deterio, you should get yours. I know you live far. You live in Florida. So I don't know when you get yours, but you should be getting it. And the other one, she got hers. So when CC were to do a giveaway, it's legit. Yes. I want to thank y'all for all the support. Keep subscribing to my channel, watching all my video, giving the likes, thumbs up, everything. So thank you so much for my story time. Like I say, if you want me to do something, comment down below. And your girl will definitely try to get to them. I'm going to try to upload another video for y'all. As always, I holla. Gang, gang. Ooh.